Hey y'all, welcome back. Well today, we're gonna be working on Kawasaki T-Rex 750. So it's a 2006 model. We're gonna start this video off by doing the oil change, so y'all stay tuned. Now this is a 2006 Kawasaki T-Rex and it's a 750. It's my uncle's. He bought it in 2009. He's the second owner on it. So just to give you a little rundown on it. It's got it's the ITP wheels on it. Um, it's got a lot of cool features. Somebody's put a homemade um, skid plate on it. It's quarter inch thick. It is sturdy. Um, it don't have much accessories on the inside. It's got the T-Rex, uh, got all the T-Rex plating, arm guards, uh, the off-road bumper. I mean, this thing's got a lot of accessories on it. It's been a really good machine for my uncle. A uh, little tip before we get started on the oil. Uh, one thing, if, if you bought, recently bought one of these year model T-Rexes, they're, they got a lot of cabin heat just like any other one. And main reason is because the engine, top of the engine is right here between your, between, you know, on your right arm, right between you and the passenger. If you'll take and get a windshield screen, uh, aluminum plain windshield screen that goes on your, save on your windshield on your dash that you put up like during the hottest part of the days, if you'll lay that over that, it don't affect it any, it don't make it overheat or anything, and it knocks the cabin heat down a good 50% so but anyway that's the walk through of that um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap cameras and get down here and uh, on most of your T-Rexes if there's a plate on it it's gonna be a 10 millimeter in this case I'm pretty sure it's 11 millimeter I'll say when I get to the other camera but we're gonna get to changing this old but you're gonna remove these bolts the ones already broke off and this should give us access to the filter and I hope the drain plug because this one don't have a hole where the drain plug usually is. There's our drain plug. And there's our oil filter. So we can get to both right here. Should be a 17 millimeter and it is. So 17 millimeter for the drain plug. And your filter's right here. Right there. Get everything in place and start draining oil. All right, now we're gonna move, take these pliers. We're gonna move to the filter. I mean, there we go. And we're gonna be installing a Wix. Now there's a part number, part number is Five, one, three, five, eight. Get your little oil. Take your oil filter, a little bit of oil right here. Put around the seal. Always make sure on your oil filter, this rubber seal 
comes off with the filter. You don't want to double stack one of these. And then screw your filter back on. Run it on there. And you just want to hand tighten it real tight, get your rag or something, and just make sure you keep turning it, won't turn it no more. Don't put no wrench on it, tighten it up. Your hand strength will be enough. And now we can move back to the top. Well, I'll reinstall this plate. Now to check the oil, Move the seat and right there, you'll see the dipstick, the black right there. That is, I always crack out when I change the oil or on most of them to where they'll bent real good. But that's where we're going to add the oil and that's where we check the oil. So I'll go ahead and start adding the oil using 10W40. Uh, this is what he had picked up. This is what he put in his uh, Nomad. And that's what we're going to be putting in the T-Rex. I'll reach down there and take, take the drain plug out. Or the, the oil where you check your oil level. You're going to need a pretty long funnel. Six quarts, two point six. And that's it. That's how easy it is on a T Rex. Like I said, that. I think it goes from 2005 to 2010 same engine uh, but the drain plug 17 millimeter if you have an excess factory accessory plate covering the oil filter and stuff it's going to be a 10 millimeter but in this case it was actually a 12 because the bolts 12 or whatever the equivalent is is going to be on a standard but that's basically it it takes 2.6 quarts uh, want to crank it up warm it up and then shut it back off Check the oil level, make sure it's good, and reinstall the seat. So that's oil change on a 2006 uh, Kawasaki T-Rex 750. So if you like what we're doing, please subscribe and like. There's going to be more videos on this of uh, my Uncle Bobo's deal. And we'll see you on the next video. God bless.